So I hit plat and turn on turn and I want to talk about it. Firstly, why did I climb? Why, why did I want to climb? Why was I climbing? Why I enjoy climbing? I think there's three main reasons. The first one is there is an accomplishment both uh, game to game and overall season. So game to game, obviously if you go plus OP, that's a win. You don't actually have to win games to do that. And over a season, you can set a goal to hit, like, I want to hit plat. Like this season, I want to hit plat. Hit plat. It's kind of an accomplishment and it makes you feel good, I guess. I don't know. Secondly, uh, you get free stuff. It's pretty, the rewards are nice. You get free skins, free emotes. Uh, if you're high enough, free NP. So that's that's another thing. And the notoriety is kind of cool. It's kind of cool to flex on people being like, oh yeah, I'm top 300. That one's not as important, but it's just kind of a bonus thing that comes with climbing. So I have a few quick tips for you guys uh, in your ranked queues. These pretty much apply to anyone. First off, uh, use your strengths and your weaknesses, know them, use them, as in if you're really good at fighting early, make sure you take fights early because you're probably going to fall off late game and other way around as well. If you're really good late game, try to avoid fans early game, know your matchups, stuff like that so you can hopefully, hopefully get those kills and get those LP gains because so, some characters are really good at early game or really good mid game or really good late game or whatever, so on and so forth or they have really good matchups against some characters and obviously if you have a really good matchup against someone, even if you're a little down bad, you should still probably take it. Second enough, don't tilt Q, please, for the love of God. Just don't. <laughs> I, I feel like it's pretty obvious. You're gonna, if, you, if you're if tilting, go to Norms for a little bit or just get off. Go watch a movie, go watch anime, go watch Netflix don't you're going to tank your lp i promise you that and uh third and probably the most important don't get discouraged from a minus night i had minus nights most people have minus nights even titan players probably have minus nights or they do have minus nights where you get minus lp or you go even it's kind of it's like well i played 10 games and went minus one or plus one or whatever don't worry you're gonna have nights where you go plus 100 and you're gonna have nights where you go minus one it's fine as long as you're going up and if you're not going up just keep grinding you you will improve Okay, this is kind of an argument. I think it's pretty big in the ER community, and not everyone agrees. There's, there's two ways to look at, um, to play, I guess, um, ranked. You can one trick, or you can play a variety of characters. Now, there's plus, there's like negatives and positives to both. Quick positives, and one quick positive and one quick negative for both, I guess, is one tricking. If you only play one character, you're going to know all their matchups, you're going to know all their weaknesses, whatever. You're going to have a lot of time spent on that character, and you're going to be really good at that character. One weakness is you don't have a very big variety. So if there's a bunch of, let's say you're an Adrian mean like myself, if there's five Adrians in the game, you can't really switch because you're not comfortable on anyone else. Variety wise, one quick positive is in a turn of turn, you get plus 10. Uh, when you play a new character, you get plus LP no matter what, right? So you got 10 LP and that's pretty nice. And there is a negative though, kind of going through the first, the positive for one tricking is when you're playing a variety of characters, Sometimes it kind of gets you know, scrambled in your head, kind of what the fuck's going on, especially if you're new. So uh, it, it's there's this positives and negatives to both. I would say sticking to a handful of characters is a good idea. Having a backup or two is, is good, but you don't really need one. I would say you don't have to play the whole cast though. Please don't, it's, it's gonna be too difficult. Um, so some positives to queuing. Ranked, ranked, obviously ranked. First off, you get the rewards I talked about before. The rewards are dope. Uh, there's the cadet skin, there's emotes, there's NP if you're a diamond. So yeah, that's really cool. There's also a, a costume, uh, there's a goal to every game, right? Every game, there's a goal of getting plus LP, which is nice in a battle royale where we're like, well, fuck, I didn't win, so I lost, right? Well, if you play ranked, if you get plus LP, you won, right? So that's nice. Also, you can set a season goal to work turrets for the whole season. It will keep you, it will make it easier to keep playing and keep grinding and if you have something you're trying to achieve. So we just talked about the positives, there are negatives, obviously, there are this negatives to everything. Um, the main, the first one, the very obvious one is there is a lot of smurfs out there. A lot, a lot, a lot of smurfs. So it, it's very infuriating when you're, let's say, silver and you get killed by a smurf and then, uh, yeah, it's a pain in the ass. So that's, that's a big negative in my opinion, but it happens in every game. I think it's just very prevalent here because there's not that many people in the community, so the the Smurfs are felt a lot more, I think. I don't know, whatever. Um, another negative is it's very discouraging. It makes me get off sometimes, which in norms I don't rage as much just because it's like, what the hell just happened? I just got griefed, I got unlucky, or whatever. So it is very infuriating as well. Um, there's also what I like to call the ranked copium. Um, so I'll show you the rank system up right now. It's pretty simple. I've showed it in other videos. It's whatever. Basically, uh, there's an average in your lobby. 
and then that affects your placement and some other things who you get killed by affects how much lp you gain who you kill if you get any kills so basically what this means uh if you kill someone that's like titan and you're gold you're gonna go up a whole bunch but if you kill someone that's silver and you're gold you're gonna go down a little bit and it works with deaths too so if you get killed by a titan when you're gold you're not gonna go down really at all if you get killed by a bronze when you're gold you're gonna go down a ton and then your rank, uh, the rank, so if you get like 10th, that's affected by mostly, mainly, it's mainly affected by um, who you die by, but also what the average rank in the lobby is. Sucks. Especially when you want to rank like gold, where it looks really low gold, gold 3 and 4, where you still get dragged down to those little lobbies, it makes it very difficult to get out of gold 3 and 4. I think personally that was one of the hardest obstacles in the game, which is getting over those lower lobbies when you're that high. Um, and some other hard obstacles, obviously, the Smurfs, I've talked about it before. It's also the mental, I guess, getting over the mental thing of being like, well, I need to survive, right? So I'm going to rat. Getting over that and taking fights and playing aggressive as well as trying to survive and taking smart fights, basically, so you can get kills. That's a very hard obstacle to get over that mental hurdle, I guess. Um, another easy obstacle, of course, is... Promars. Basically, there's a lot of pressure around them. I personally, when I when I first started grinding, I had a lot of tr trouble with the promos. Um, basically, you have to go plus LP and you go into the next rank. If you want to hit gold, you're going to have to probably promote twice. You're going to have to promote into silver and you're going to have to promote into gold. Uh, one thing that you may have trouble with is the yips, I think is what they call them in like professional sports. Basically, you crack under the pressure and even though you're a great player, you play like shit just because you're too nervous. Is the ranked grind worth it? I say yes. Two main reasons, right? You can improve. You can see how you improve over multiple seasons and see that you have improved even if you don't see it yourself. And you get free stuff. So there's really no negative. And if you really don't like being, just stick to norms. It's totally fine. And norms is a lot of fun as well. Um, but if you have any questions about ranked or grinding or anything like that, either comment on the video or join my Discord, the link will be in the description, and ask any questions there. I respond to all the comments, and I'm pretty fast at responding on Discord. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and peace. Thank <laughs> you.